Hello everyone, we are here with the top four of the Star Wars, what is this, World's Championship Tournament. Yeah, uh, yeah. We have one of our very own from Tulsa, Oklahoma on the left here, that's Dennis. And then on the right we have Tom, his opponent. Uh, what do we know about these decks, Zach? Do you have any idea here? Uh, I don't know anything about Tom, uh, but I play Dennis frequently. So, uh, Dennis is on the left, he looks like he's playing his dark side deck. Uh, which is a pretty standard Sith control. Starts Imperial, goes uh, Sith. Looks like he flipped two councils of the Sith, but he's the That's worst fantastic. thing on the planet. <laughs> and uh, I can't tell. It looks like Ghost of the Dark Side, so this is a really great objective flop for him. And, uh, I mean, two counts, that's awful. Those, uh, those have four hit points, right? Five. Five, okay. What's that's, the one that has four? Uh, that's the Emperor's Web. That's the Emperor's Web, uh, okay. That's but the Council of Sith, draw a card at the start of your opponent's turn. Uh -huh. You typically can't destroy an objective with light side on the first turn. And normally, if you see a council, you'll go after it. But you, right. you know, there's two now, uh -huh. which is just terrifying. He drops an uh, advisor to the Emperor, uh, getting a tactics out there and a resource, solid, solid draw, and he played a resource. Looks like a Kuwati security team. Pretty, pretty solid drop. What is that? It's hard to tell. I can't tell. I can't make that I, out I want to say it's the uh, the one coster from the uh, yeah, it's the ISB uh, one coster from the executor set. So that's Dennis's first turn. He got four cards out of his hand. He's going to draw two at the start of his opponent's turn. This is a, a that's fantastic excellent. start. Yeah. Uh, many, many over this there. tournament have said that the dark side is has the advantage here. At Gen Con, mm -hmm. it was flipped. People thought Sluice were ruling the day. Uh, and they still kind of do. The, as, as light side, but yeah. uh, I think most people had good days with their dark side yesterday, so it's kind of expected to win as dark side at this point. Right. Uh, looks like we have Luke coming Luke. out on turn one. That That's is a crazy. Giant play. Using yeah. all his resources uh -huh. here. Uh, he dropped the uh, two cost resource. It looks like from the Falcons objective set. So he's running Jedi smugglers here. You guys Classic combo. Up the interwebs, are you? We are. <laughs> this is live commentary. Oh, all right, awesome. <laughs> Joined here now by Steve Horvath, <laughs> vice president of fantasy play games. Yeah, so it looks like a strong start for uh, Dark Side Luke on the board though. Going to block with both. This is a heat of battle away <laughs> from at travesty. You, yeah, this is going to be bananas. Now here we go. Let the bidding commence. Luke can't fail. Pass, pass. Oh man, didn't even get to see. <laughs> I think he twisted. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's definitely. Yep. But the bidding recommence. I can't tell. But I think it's a twist. Now, we are live, so if we freak out here or miss something because we can't see it, <laughs> please bear with us. Uh, please bear with us. My apologies. I threw my stuff over here. Sorry. I'm not sure if it was a twist or not. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it was a twist. Okay. So who got Maybe. that edge battle after the twist? Uh, it looks like Dennis did because okay. he struck first, All right. did damage to Luke, and now it looks like it's Luke's turn to strike. It's going to blow he's something just, up. He's deciding where to target and strike. Ultimately, that's a really solid turn for Dennis. It he, is. One damage on objective. He's got a damage on Luke. So like a Vader later with a, a force choke is going to gonna yep. get rid of Luke. Yeah, we'll the clock is ticking on Luke here. I'll tell you, man, hanging damage is... A lot. Yeah, it puts the pressure on you. Luke. That's right. It's true. He's ready to strike yeah. again. He'll trust his feelings. And <laughs> yeah, he will. You don't know what's going to happen. So now what's going on? Big turn. It's either where Dem Dennis uh, d dominates the game or just fails. Yeah, that's right. This is going to be his <laughs> swing. It's all or nothing. Here we go. If, if Dennis can get Luke off of the board here, looks like he's uh, got a duty officer, more resources. Man, um, the ability for the Imperial guys just to bring those economy cards to bear is fantastic. Wait and see. Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. Classic. That's uh, it's, it's a great card. It's a great card, especially in a sleuth-dominated environment. Mm -hmm. But against the Jedi, it looks like uh, Luke got Ouch. destroyed somehow. What just happened? What's that? Oh, no, that... Is oh aggression, aggression, nice. Yeah, that's the another risk. fantastic card. That is the risk Woo. of light side playing one unit on the first turn. I know yeah. I had a lot of games yesterday where I intentionally right, that didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> that aggression, yeah. man. Luke, Luke is gone. <laughs> that, that was painful. <laughs> now, now this turn is just wide open for Dennis. He might be on his way here to a pretty decisive, quick victory. What do you think? That, that's what I mean. I've had a lot of games where I could open strong like that, but if I can only play one unit and I know that they're playing Sith, it's yeah. really hard for me to go with that. It's kind of uh, um, everything you've always said about playing Emperor early and all that stuff, you know, or just putting all your eggs in that one basket. Yeah, it's all in one basket, and especially with, like, Dark Side has aggression. Yeah. So uh, it's a risky play, but now Dennis has an advisor and a Stormtrooper ready to block with a ton of cards in hand. He drew two from the two councils. Yep. Uh, Dennis is in a great spot, honestly. Mm-hmm. 
Looks like there's the one cost Jedi with a tactics and a blast. Two of them. That's Woo. good. I don't know what's in the middle. See, that's where, like, last turn, if you had played these guys instead. Yeah. And uh, then had Luke ready to, you know, just sit back. You attack with your tactics. Hopefully win the edge battle. You can strike with Luke. Uh, but definitely not the case. So we'll see what happens. Three dudes at. It's coming out. It's going to happen. So this is big. So the Jedi player next turn uh, is going to be getting a lot of resources. Uh, it looks like he attacked with one of the tactics guys. Mm -hmm. So he's just trying to, to get Dennis to block, I think, win an edge battle, hopefully, and tactic some stuff down. And Dennis accepts the challenge. Yeah. Boom. Heat Look. of battle. He's got it. Yeah. Boom up. Nice. Well done. And then... Can't tell what that was. I have no idea, but he just destroyed the uh, advisor <laughs> to the ever. <laughs> These things happen. Yeah, so this it's is Star Wars. This is going I mean that's that's not bad. He got the advisor off the board, but this is going overwhelmingly in the favor of Dennis. Dennis gonna have a new turn. When you have two counts of the Sith like that, it's just it's too easy, man. It, you get so many cards, you can just pitch cards to the edge battle every time. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're just trying to rifle through the cards and get to the goods. Card advantage in this game is so, so critical. Just edge battles, edge battles, edge battles all day long. Yeah. This is honestly, like, I'm, I've am i I've lost favor with the Emperor. Ooh. Uh, I really have. Or, or he has with you. Or he has with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a big fan anymore. But this is where, like, drawing it, like, if he plays a Darth Vader here, yeah. sitting on, like, he's going to draw two more cards. Uh, he's going to win the edge. He's going to have the balance. Any event's going to do it. What is it? Oh, look at that. Darth Vader. I'm man. telling you, man. Uh, this is this is just taking off here. Yeah, it's like clockwork. Vader here is uh, just so capable of locking up the board Yep. Um, against these Jedi. It looks like he's playing a Dark Memories there. Oh, so, man. A fantastic uh, card. That unit's not going to be able to strike. Yep. Uh, oh, he's un unplaying it. Interesting. Takes you back to you, or what, what do you think is going on here? Um, I don't know. I think he's just redecided. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, then take my hand the off the card. The other guy's one health guy. Um, uh -huh. So it's just Makes a way to sense. make sure you can't get taxes down. Yep. But, you know, if, if Dennis is sitting on a force choke here, he's got two damage just waiting to happen. Again, the crazy part, he's going to drop two at the start of his opponent's turn. Yep. Which is so, like, Vader drawn man. into the yeah. force chokes. And, you know, we forget Jedi kind of disappeared for a while, right? They did. People kind of had this assumption that they were... Uh, kind of like what you're talking about. You're investing too much in too few cards and that you can just control them and get them out of there. Yeah, and the cheapness of the vehicle decks makes Force Choke just not really do anything anymore. Yep. But against Jedi, it smokes Force you. Choke can be money. Uh-huh. All right, the light side player here I think has six resources open. Uh, so the world is his. <laughs> yeah, he's got the econ. Let's see if he can spring back. I hope he does. And, man, once you, once you know that... The, the light side player is not playing sleuth. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, the game as it used to be, right? <laughs> because you can play Vader and know that he can actually block. Yeah. Uh, and that's a big deal. Two damage can kill almost anything, and things that can't kill a force choke can take care of. Yeah. So uh, Dennis is in a solid spot start. And I, I'm at this point, I, if it was Poker Tour style and we were like odds of winning, <laughs> I'm going to, I put Dennis at like 90% right now. That's right. Looks like some econ coming out there. And what's interesting, the tiebreaker's here, right? So if Dennis wins dark side, it's going to flip around. Tom's going to be dark side, and he's going to want to destroy the most objectives. Yeah. So I know in a game earlier I had it, the light side player wasn't even worried about winning anymore. He knew he wasn't going to win. Yeah. He was just trying to get an objective. Yep. Uh, so at this point, if, I, if I'm Tom, it's I don't care about blocking. It looks like Chewbacca's coming out. Yep. This is what some people call the Super Friends deck. <laughs> uh, Han, I think Han, Luke, Yoda, Chewie, and then usually the Falcon. And you've just got protection, you've got ways to bring characters in, and it's just a solid deck. Anyways, so here it's just all about trying to get objectives. Yep. So Chewie's coming in. Chewie's a beast. I hope, hope Vader steps up. That would be epic. What a confrontation. Force Choke will get you. I know, right? Now, the nice part about Chewie being in the conflict is uh, even mid-conflict, if he gets Force Choke or something, he can trigger his ability to do damage on people. Oh, that's right. That's very clever. Looks like Dennis gave it to him unopposed. Nice. No harm there. Doesn't get the objective, which is all Dennis cares about. He'll defend it more appropriately later, I'm sure. Trying to knock out that objective. Okay, Vader's stepping up to yeah. say no. 
Yeah, with a Sith deck, uh, anytime you can destroy opponent's units, especially without having to use events or uh, like heated battles. Do so. Oh, he dropped another Vader into the edge. Oh, pro move. So Vader focusing. Yeah, that Vader guy strikes, off. clearing the board. Excellent play. Yeah, you know, I mean, here's where it's like if, if Dennis draws into like a force choke and has an aggression, he just clears the board. Yep. Man, it is just coming together. I. I no wonder he's made the top four. <laughs> yeah. All right. So light side gets balanced. Yeah, the Sith control deck, uh, it, the months leading up to testing, it's just so solid, man. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, dark side has the beat right now. Yeah. It definitely appears that way. I'm, I'm just thoroughly impressed here. Playing as intended. We say that, but uh, in a minute we'll see Dennis's <laughs> yeah, light side deck. Flip it around. He, he has games. I'm telling you, man. He... It's like one in three or one in four. He'll just win with a Death Star like two or three. And he's like your arch rival here. So what, what's his uh, soft spot when he's playing light side? Honestly, it's the objectives he draws. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if he doesn't get the right objectives with that deck, he struggles pretty strong. Wow. Uh, but, I mean, it's two and three. He'll get the, at least some of the objectives he needs. Sure. So I, I can usually tell when I'm playing Genesis, his light side deck, whether Sith Holocron drops, yep. he's going to use it. Here comes the Emperor. I'll put five bucks on it. Executor. Whoa. <laughs> Big, Big Mama Jamma coming yeah. out here. And again, once you know you're not playing Sluice, that Executor becomes about a million times better. That is that is a huge card. It always impresses. Uh, looks like you get the Sacrifice guy, so at any point you can sacrifice, draw a card, look at the top card of the opponent's deck, which and also do an interrupt and say, ouch. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, the Executor this is here the pain train. Yeah. What? Uh, you can interrupt anytime. Yeah. <laughs> anytime. Again, that's Steve Horvath here. Yeah. Celebrity man about town. I feel like, yeah. I mean, like I said, now it's 99. percent Earlier 90, now it's 99. The, yeah, the this is a, just a super strong board for Dennis right now. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, I'm gonna draw two at the start of your turn again. Thanks. I don't know what you do about this. That's what I mean. The two counts of assist start the game is just what you want. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Who's leading the charge here? Now, it's important to note, uh, and it would have served me well earlier if I'd been thinking about it, uh, in my top 16 game, that destroying objectives as dark side, actually destroying all three, mm -hmm. is a really big deal. That's true. Because if you destroy three and your opponent doesn't destroy any, tiebreaker. they cannot yeah. outdo you. So in, in that case, you destroy three, they don't destroy any. If you have the higher seed, you automatically go on. That's crazy. Matt Coles did that earlier to get to the top four. Yeah. He destroyed three of the dark side, and the opponent knew he could only destroy three and make it a tie, and Matt was the one seed. Dennis is the two seed. So That's he's, awesome. He's got the advantage here. There's the force, force choke. Force choke. All tart. He's doing a damage to Chewie. Ouch. Yep. That's a big deal right there. What's a really big deal? See, I don't know. I, I maybe would have saved that. Yeah. Uh, well, it depends. If he has another one in his hand, then no, I wouldn't have saved it. <laughs> uh, and he, he's going to draw two more cards, so it's probably the better decision. Just go ahead yeah. and, it. and that, by the way, that's the old art force joke he just played. Yeah. Was, uh, which we got from playing this tournament. And, card. man, if you if you didn't get one, I'm sorry. Look for him on eBay. You're going to be <laughs> Yeah. All right, so here we go. Tom trying to card. salvage what he can here. Now, Tom has resources, and that's the thing. I mean, Dennis only has three guys to block. Uh, he may have tricks in hand. He's obviously got a ton of cards to the edge battle. Yep. But uh, Chewie... He stands I mean, alone. With, it looks like, three, four, six, seven. <laughs> yep, here comes the Falcon. It's Excellent. exactly what you want there. Great card at the right time. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's it's going to get dicey here for a minute. And Dennis has a ton of damage on his uh, objective. So he does. Might be able to clear some stuff out. I don't know. Could he? Could he swing back here? What are the odds of that? Uh, I, I'm, if I could see his hand, I could really tell you. Yeah. Uh, if he's got like a Luke in his hand, mm -hmm. his odds went way up here. I mean, he's still got to destroy three objectives, right? Yeah. So I don't think he's going to destroy all three here, but he could easily destroy two, which yeah. would put the pressure on Dennis in the next game. For sure. And Vader is still standing, so he's got some stuff to do. It. Some stormtroopers, Vader. Uh, what's that other guy? The sacrifice dude. What's, yeah. it, what's that called? Uh, ISB something or another. Yeah. So here's the deal. Vader's blocking. If he can win the edge battle, now the fact that Ed won, so Tom should pass here. <laughs> yeah. And make Dennis go first. Uh huh. If he can win the edge battle with a heat of battle, or he has a, uh, an event to play to to damage the Falcon, the Falcon won't get a strike. Right. And that'll be big. That'll be really big. Which I think he's got the. Uh, the sacrifice ISB guy out, so he can do the one to Falcon. He just has to win the edge battle. Yeah. All right. So bids begin. Falcon's so good. Uh, this is intense. My only regret of the day yesterday was not running two Falcons. 
All right. I think Dennis got it. Uh huh. Light side gets first action. Here we go. Strikes for two, and he knows he can sacrifice to do damage, so he takes the action and puts. Lay it. No, it's on. It's on. Big play. This is incredible. Oh, wow. He's sacking to do a damage to Han. Uh huh. I smell a Sith event coming, like a dark precog for yeah, a damage. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Han getting a point of damage on him first thing is pretty terrifying. Yep. But you, you got to swing, man. Three cards Ooh. in hand. We know he's got a Falcon in there. That's right. Which, that's the beauty of the Falcon, by the way. You mm -hmm. play him, you attack. Assuming he'd be able to hit, he drops in Han. Then you have a three force icon card for the yeah, edge. Yeah, dual purpose, man. It's excellent. He's doing a damage to Vader. Interesting. Uh, we know uh, Dennis pitched Vader earlier in the edge battle. Yeah, so there won't so be another one Han coming. So if Han can target a strike here and kill Vader, that's the last we've seen of the, the Dark yeah, Lord. Yeah, this is, this is a super critical edge battle here. All right, here we go. Defender wins. Hi, Defender wins. Holy oh, smokes. Oh, my lord. That was, that was it right there. That's the game. That's it. Like, Vader's still there. This board is going to be wide open next turn. Oh, man. Just masterfully defended by Dennis. So he's doing four to the Council of Sith here. But Dennis has it next which turn. Which is a whole lot of almost. Yeah. See, that's where, like, it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter how, how much they're damaged. It's the, just that they're not destroyed. The problem is, is man. I don't know what the Death Star does at. So Dennis is going to destroy one objective. I think they're scooping here. Uh, Dennis got two objectives there. Yep. Uh, and again, this is critical. If he went in with Chewie in that attack, sure. then he could have probably gotten an objective. Yeah. And that objective could be the difference in the match. Because Dennis has the higher seat, so you have to destroy more objectives now. That's crazy, man. I don't think Tom was able to get any objectives that no, game. No, not a so, one. Uh, really unfortunate for a time. Yeah, that's a that's a big a big thing. I mean, at that point, he's obviously hoping that uh, Lando's gonna or Han's gonna win the edge battle, destroy objective, and then he gets to go Chewie. Yeah. But I almost think you have to go for the one objective there. Yeah. Get get whatever you can when it when it matters. That's a shame that he didn't have the uh, Chewie objective out, or he could have protected Han, which is a, a problem. Well, that was a great game. Uh, so All right, we're gonna flip around. I don't know what Tom's running. I yeah. imagine it's Sith control. He's got the Palpatine sleeves there. I know yep. what uh, Dennis is running. We actually Saturday last Saturday we had an all night playtesting session mm -hmm. at the store, and uh, <laughs> I, I convinced Dennis for the longest time. So he runs the sleuths. He runs the blockade runners. He runs the red two objective set, uh, and I convinced Dennis he was running one mobilizer squadrons. Really? Which is a two resource. Uh -huh. Start of your turn, you get to take an extra. Uh, an extra, extra focus off of it, and uh, it's basically an awesome resource effective set. Yeah. But the cards in it are trash. There's one Rebel Assault, it's got like a trench run. It, it's just such a gimmicky thing. And, <laughs> and I, I convinced him to take one of those out for uh, Renegade Squadron mobilization as the Echo Caverns and the Renegade Squadron. Great, great objective set. And it's like, dude, you can't run bad cards. Yeah, Renegade Squadron alone is like, worth it. I was like, we were looking at his deck and it's like, you know, with this objective, you've got like eight or nine cards you don't really want in your deck. It's like at any point in the game, you can't have a five card draw that's bad cards. Yeah, yeah. Like you just can't yeah. do it. And four of the bad cards came from that one objective set. And I was like, it's not worth a Rebel Assault, man. Yep. Uh, so I'm curious to see how it works out here. But I know earlier, him having a second one of those, uh, having a second one of those really paid off to get him to this point. So I'm going to be curious to talk to yeah. you about that at the end. Yeah. I think it was ultimately a good decision. But there's so many of those like classic, fundamental, like basic type of things that you have to consider. It's like, how does my curve work? Do I have the things that I need mid and late game if it goes that far? And I mean, the uniqueness of the objective set system, right? Totally. Like, it makes you run cards you otherwise probably wouldn't <laughs> put in your deck. Yeah. And like, to run an objective set that really isn't doing anything for you except for getting a Rebel Assault... Probably not worth it. No. Two cards... And he agreed with me. Two cards on your entire deck, yeah. Let's see if it serves him well. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'll give you the odds of the game. I'll tell you who's <laughs> going to win the game based on Dennis's objective flaw. Oh, man. Call your bookies. Here if, we go. He, if he has two out of his raise the stakes and across the Anduits, mm -hmm. so he needs probably two of those. Any, it doesn't matter which two. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one is the defense you have in four. He wins the game. Yeah, defensive you have in four is the bomb card. For, it's the money. 
Oh man, I love that. So I don't much. even care what cards he draws in his hand. If he gets, it's those objectives that matter. Those combinations. All right, we'll see. I can't tell what Tom is starting there, but I'm just gonna guess Imperial. Yeah. The look on his face right now, he is just dead calm. <laughs> is, he, is he just in the zone? Yeah, if you look at Tom right now, he is just... No pressure. He's like, I got this. Yeah, he's like, I'm playing Dark Side now. He's probably thinking this is my better deck. Tom uh, is a cool customer, for sure. And I'm really curious. I'm telling you, man. All right. So uh, we got two here. Two Vader's Fist. That is crazy. So when, when they aren't damaged... Yep. That's it, a crossing into it, raise the stakes, and defense he had before. Fantastic. Exactly what he wants. He's got every the spread. Time. Now, the thing is, Vader's Fist, two of them. Uh huh. Craziness about that is when they're not damaged, your opponent's reserve value is decreased by one. That's a big so deal. So, Dennis's hand size right now is four. He's got to get some pew pew on those but, objectives no, check real this quick. Out. The other objective is Killing Cold. Killing oh, Cold is you a, can sacrifice yep. a unit at any time to remove damage <laughs> from a Hoth objective. So, this is a nightmare. Yep. Fortunately, Dennis doesn't need many cards to make this happen. <laughs> I've seen him, like, he'll play a unit. It's like, ah, oh, I win the game, thanks. <laughs> Looks like we've got two Ice Chompers, which yep. is going to do nothing against Dennis, by the way. Uh, I mean, they're okay. They're really just units Tom's going to be able to sacrifice to prevent damage. Yep. Whoa. He's going to take balance, and they're, play the resource, They're both working Dennis. for the force here. Here's the question. Does Dennis have a blockade runner or not? let he's, he's got to discard two here. His reserve value is minus one, or minus two. This is a big deal right here. Now, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure if Dennis destroys one objective, he wins the match. I think you're right, right? Which is going to make Killing Cold critical. Yes. It's a great one to draw into for Tom there. Yeah, so Tom didn't destroy any of the first game. Dennis destroyed two. If Dennis destroys a third, there's no way Tom wins. Sleuth Scout. No, that's Blockade Runner. Excellent. And a Sleuth. He discarded cards, Blockade Sleuth. Dennis is about to wreck some face. This is excellent. This is... Man, it's just falling into place for This Dennis. is what his deck does. The force is with him. That's all we can say here. Good gravy. <laughs> Holy he, smokes. He, he did not really... Oh, so he's going to do the uh -huh. four. Uh -huh. Before the unopposed are done, he's going to sacrifice a unit, and he's going to do a fourth. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. He played a battle of hot to move a damage. Fantastic. So, okay. So, he's taking care of one. So, Dennis has a sleuth and a blockade runner out. He's uh -huh. got three damage on a Vader's Fist and one damage on another Vader's Fist. Yep. Currently, the Vader's Fist things are turned off. That's great for Dennis. So he's playing an aggression. Here we go. Uh, spinning one, he's sacking a dude, and Dennis is going to have to sack that sleuth scout. Too bad. Dennis right. was so close to the game right there. Yeah, he was. You realize if Dennis had also attacked with the sleuth scout, he wins. Yeah, it's it's bananas. Because it's two damage. Yep. So there's no, no way he can avoid <laughs> it with the two units he has on the board. Man, it's amazing how quickly that can go. Sith so Holocron, it's a big deal. It looks yep. like he may get that other guy. Here comes... Uh, Emperor's Royal Guard, there's an ISB sack guy. Mm -hmm. Dude, he, he has dudes for days. Yep. That's huge against Dennis. Mm -hmm. But again, he can't lose a single objective. Not one. So he's, he's turning off the, raise the stakes the, here. The problem here is that he's, he's spending a lot of cards now. So Dennis is going to have a really easy time winning those edge battles in his next turn. Especially now that he can get back up to his full reserve value. Yeah, and all again, all that matters here if you're Dennis, you need to destroy an objective. Yeah, just one. one. Can you imagine, like, one objective is all you need. But this is the best setup Tom could have. Yeah. Whew. Dennis draws four. That is so awful. No, no I think he's, he's up to five. Is it, cause I, uh, did he get the damage off the other... Um, I don't know. Emperor's... Or oh, Vigor's Fist? I can't remember. Uh, I can't tell. It looks like he has three cards left. So he's got to draw five. He's got a Y-Wing. He played uh, um, Echo Caverns, which is awesome, mm -hmm. by the way. That's going to make Tom's job tough. <laughs> So like if he attacks with a blockade runner, he can pay one to give him an extra black. That's crazy, man. That's what you want in life. <laughs> he can also pay one to remove an icon from one of his opponent's units. 
Now it ha they have to share traits for you to trigger Echo Caverns. Yep. But like he can give one of the Broy Guard's blast damage to the ISB guy that's focused down. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of mean tricks you can do with wow. that. Wow. And it's a resource. <laughs> and it's a resource. Dual purpose cards. Now, if Dennis has a Battle of Hoth here, that could really also screw things up. Yes. Removing that damage from raising stakes and getting that extra on the post. Looks like Dennis discards? No. I don't know. I can't tell. Yep. You have to wait and see. Now, here. you got to watch his discard file. Yeah. <laughs> watch it. <laughs> For those of you at home, watch his discard file. It's important to note in Star Wars, you're supposed to actually play the card first and then pay for it. Interesting. Um, so that you can't like play it or like start to pay for it and realize that it's gonna mess things up. Aha. You put it down and then you if you have to be able to pay for it. Uh, so it also keeps it clean because like I'm playing this guy and it's like I'm gonna discard one to reduce by one and then I'm gonna literally pay for it. Uh, looks like we got... Comes the runner. Yeah. Going for the top Vader. Oh man, it's a big moment. Yep. But Tom has one card. Tom's passing. Oh, shoot. That's game. That's it. All right, he's got it. I'm pretty sure that means Dennis is going on to the finals. I believe you're correct. So the edge of this game just got totally taken out. <laughs> So now it's just for fun. See, it's nuts because like the Y wing could strike, right? Yep. He's gonna take a balance back, actually. <laughs> the Y wing can strike, and you could steal uh, one of the blockade runners' dudes. At this point, he's uh, he's protect. He's trying to protect from shockwave, but he hasn't seen any cards that would make him. Yeah. I'm surprised there that Tom didn't sack his units to drop the damage. Maybe, yeah. maybe Dennis would have had it anyway. But he he did dump a lot of damage on there, so I don't know if it would have mattered one way or the other. It would have been two, three. He did three damage, plus, yeah. Unopposed plus a target, yeah, it would have got it. Yeah. So what you want, Executor arrives. A nice. nice two resource card coming out. What you got, Tom? Do not underestimate the power of the dark side, even though the game may already be won. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening in Matt game, Matt's game right now, but assuming Dennis... I think they're discussing the fact that Dennis can't lose. Yeah. Uh, assuming Dennis will advance, I think we may have the one and two seed in the finals. That's crazy. That's, that'll be an incredible game. There okay, it is. So they're shaking on it. Happens. So that's it. A huge congrats to Tom for making the top four, and a bigger congrats to Dennis yeah, for making it to the, the finals, finals of the first ever Star Wars World Championship. It's amazing. Stay tuned. We'll be doing the finals and the other match of the top four soon. Yeah, congrats to both these guys. Great game. Very exciting. Can't wait to see these finals. Woo! Congrats again.